Hi, this is Far Horizon. Welcome to the Calamari Navy Experiment. I'll be playing Ogre Battle Hardtype 1.04 and trying to beat the game with a navy composed of water units. Every unit's going to have at least one octopus. Right now I just have two, but as soon as I can recruit octopi, I'm going to start replacing all my large units with octopi. So, so far, I've deployed these nine units. I bought nine tiaras four battle axes, save you guys all the time it took to do that. Um, I just found my first item in the stage, which is a Dwarven Sword. Not the best item in the world, but it does have strength, fizz, and electrical resistance, which is ideal for an octopus. So I'll go ahead and equip that, give the battle axe to someone else, probably lands. Make him kind of badass early on. All right, and then let's get that griffin into the first fight. See how that goes. This unit's a little bit stacked. I like to have a high sky unit that can do some significant damage because I can always pull him back and heal him up early. I love having the Griffin up front. So the Griffin is just one of the best units at dodging. It also has pretty decent defense as well. So it's, it's a great way to avoid taking damage. It's going pretty well. Probably get through maybe two more fights with this unit before I have to go back. So I'll weaken up a couple of the enemy units so my other units can finish them off. And I'll have to start uh, sending this unit trolling the seas, see if I can catch any octopi. Alright, let's get a good card to start it off here. That's pretty good. A relic sword. That's, that's excellent. I think that is one of the rare dark swords. I don't think I got one the entire playthrough last time. So now I'm going to show you the power of the Relic Sword. As you can tell, it's got a huge bonus to strength, but a corresponding penalty to intelligence. So we want to make sure that we fight physical enemies with it. I mean, it's just like a, a golem early game. You want to use it in the right situation. So this enemy unit we're about to fight only has physical units, so it's going to really enable me to tear them apart and take pretty much no damage in return is I have this unit with just one guy up front. And even with weak, I should, yeah, I mean, seven damage is nothing. And so I should destroy him when I hit him back. If I can actually hit him, let's cross the fingers on that. Because the Amazon certainly can't. <laughs> wow. Didn't ever knew fighters could be so hard to hit. All right, now we got to, well, okay, only 26 damage. Didn't really take a lot of advantage of that, but they certainly didn't hurt me much in return. So it still gave a pretty good benefit. If we look at the next unit, uh, they have a mage, so I'm thinking really need to unequip it. So now I know the mage uh, in this enemy unit is going to be on uh, strong. I, well, I think he's on leader. He's on he's on one of the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the relic sword to one of my Amazons instead. So it'll boost her attack up a bunch without really any much cost to me, because I don't think the mage is going to attack her. So, let's see if that pans out. And I'm going to put it on strong, because I really just don't want to get devastated by the mage. Okay, now that I've all attacked, so I'm going to go ahead and go to weak and See if I can do some serious damage. 25, 20, 20, well, that's not good. <laughs> um, I'm really tempted to run away here, because I think he's going to, yeah, I think I'm going to, because he's just going to hit my leader again, I'm betting. And I really don't want to have him that low on HP. I'll let somebody else whittle this unit down. All right, so I realized that I can't actually recruit octopi on this level, that in the water, for some reason, there's only hawkmen. Yeah, I know they don't live in the water, but I guess they fly on it. And Hawkman will actually be really useful for me because I'm going to spend a lot of time with units in the water and Hawkman flying, they do really well in any terrain. So, alright, I got him. So, alright, 
So we've got another all physical unit here up against a uh, octopi in the water. So this should be an absolute slaughter. Let's go ahead and put on the dwarven sword or the take off the dwarven sword for the relic sword just to kind of ensure that. Let's see what happens here. I think I'm gonna even be a little cocky and yeah, just keep it on weak. And just maximize the damage I'm doing. Because I'm I'm healing anyway. Yep, they're just not doing any significant damage at all. So it's a little micromanaging moving the relic sword around like that, but you can't argue with the results. I'm pretty much killing them for free. And certainly as there are more and more enemy casters, it's going to be less of a viable strategy. But by then I'll have other swords that do 15, you know, 19, well maybe not 19, but at least 15 damage. Probably within a couple of stages, so th it doesn't have to remain a viable strategy for, for that long. To be pretty useful. Right, this is the first witch unit I'm facing. I went ahead and replaced my relic sword with a battle axe because I just don't want to take a phantom with a minus anti item. That sounds like a, a bad idea. And even with the battle axe and strong, I'm still not taking much damage, so I should be fine. Wow, that's almost no damage at all. I, she must really have a uh, huge penalty to damage in the water. But my octopus is cranking through it. Oh, <laughs> two phantoms. I guess this is the perfect fight to take two phantoms, though, since her damage has got such a penalty. I'll have to remember to try to fight witches and sirens in the water. Although I suppose it probably won't make nearly as much difference in the later game. Now, well, these three octopus fights certainly drag on for a while, but... Well, even with the reduced damage, it's going to be my loss. But still, I got the healers, so I'll just come right back at them and make them do it again. Alright, round three. Let's see if I can actually win this time. So off to a good start with a miss and another phantom. Uh, I guess maybe, maybe the change is in that is phantom and petrify only with no charm. Wasn't sure if he'd added that. No, nope, there's the charm. So he hasn't done that yet. Let's take a little gamble here. See if we can get a couple stronger hits in. Mm. No, hitting me too. I think that's a bad idea. I should go back to strong. Just outlive them. Have the cleric heal me up. Even if it takes longer, should work out better. Aha! A victory at last. All right, round four with the witch. So I'm gonna go ahead and gamble here that I go first. That didn't work out. Well, only took one. Well, I think it'll still work out. So I'm gonna go back to strong and just tank it up. micromanaging here. Phantom. I don't know. Beastman, especially with a friendly penalty, just really can't hit my octopus, so I think I might still win this since I killed one of their units early. Yeah, I'm definitely going to win this. Alright, the witch tried to run away and take over my town, which is a pretty good move when you're low on health and going to make me pay for getting out of position, so... I'm pretty far ahead. I'm going to go ahead and go to weak and just try to kill him off. And miss the petrify. I think that's going to work out. And can't quite kill him off, unfortunately. There we go. Okay, now it should be easy sailing with just the witch and go down quickly to physical. Yep, cleric plus large beast is slow but steady. Alright, here I'm having the southern octopus unit fight a wizard. And I know this wizard's on leader, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the relic sword equipped. And I went ahead and put a tiara on my beast master, because I know he's going to get hammered by magic. And man, these uh, hellhounds usually have really good attack, but I, I guess as mountain units, they must really have a huge movement penalty on water. I guess, you know, mountain is pretty different than the sea. So this looks like it's working out pretty well, except that uh, the Beastman is still taking some pretty 
heavy damage and the timing didn't work out there with the heal, but you know, I mean, I'm almost down zero HP in the end and I'm already took out one Hellhound, so can't complain about that. Alright, so I kind of blundered onto land here to fight some giants, so it might be a little bit more challenging of a fight. Let's see how this works out. And I still have the battle axe equipped on this unit because I didn't switch, but no, it still looks like they're not doing all that much damage, so especially since they have a cleric, uh, this should be a really slow encounter. Both sides are not able to do that much damage. I probably want to go ahead and put the relic sword back on so I can do a little bit more damage and retreat into the water so that I get the movement penalty on offense and defense, or the movement bonus for me and penalty for them. Yeah, it's going to be kind of an endless gridlock battle unless I move back into the water. All right, round two with the giants. I equipped the relic sword, and now I'm actually in the water, so I think this is going to go a lot better for me, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, 40 damage instead of uh, 8. Yeah, it's going a lot better. And they hit me for about the same in... Well, actually less in weak than I was getting hit for in strong on land, so yeah, it's, it's key to actually fight in the water when you're using water units. That shouldn't be too surprising. But it's really going to get more challenging, I think, in the other levels. I'm going to have to go uh, camp in a river or something, and then, I don't know, I'll probably have to compromise and have a couple of flying units. You know, what navy is complete without uh, some F-14 you know, or F-20-something fighters? Uh, we'll just, you know, throw in some Hawkmen or something. So if you read my recent post, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Dull Mages, but this is a spot where a Dull Mage might actually work out fairly decently. I got the agility on the wizard, although not on the hellhounds it looks like, but you still should be able to do some pretty significant damage to the wizard, of course, if I can hit him. Well, you know, that's another another reason I'm not a huge fan of a dull mage, because if you're going to take the wizard out, he probably has higher ants, so your hit percent is going to be low, but, you know, I still think it'll be a great class early in the game. Alright, let's give the dull mage another shot here. This is an all-physical unit with one knight in the back and three fighters up front. So I'll go ahead and set it on weak. Maybe I'll take a hit, but I'll uh, get the doll mage off to do some massive damage. Alright, and I think I'm going to leave it on weak and just see if I can kill off the guy with 5 HP. Alright. Back on strong. Void taking out the leader. Although, I don't know. I kind of... I want to level up some more, so maybe I should take out the leader. Get some more XP, because I think in the recent post saw him, so there's only like 11 units on this stage or something, which is not many at all. And I've got a bunch of level 1 Amazons that need to be 2 or 3. Alright, let's see how the Dull Mage does against a Valkyrie unit, which is one of the, the tougher units in the stage. Okay, not a great hit rate. I guess they have pretty decent ends. But at least I went first so I can go back to strong after doing the hit all. Yeah, well, certainly Valkyries up front seem to be a clear miss. They just simply can't damage anything. And two bolts is just not just not enough to, to scare me. So... I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was completely wrong on saying this was one of the harder units in the stage. It might be a little imposing to the Octopus units since there are three Valkyries, but really, there's only two bolts. So I just deployed the Hawkman I recruited. I'm pretty impressed. I mean, he's level three, so he's got a level on my Wildman here and two levels on my Amazons, but he's definitely got a ton more HP. And if you look at him, he's got 62 agility, which is just head and shoulders above any of the other units I have. Uh, and, you know, the Wild Man only has 40 Ents. He's got 16 more Ents as well, and he's only got 8 less Strength. Although, I guess, I mean, he's going to get better stats when he levels up, but just uh, the sheer agility difference, I'm going to have to change formation and, you know, put the Wild Man over on the side, which is good, because he's the leader. Uh, that'll really divide up attacks a lot more. Golems are one of my favorite characters. They really got shafted in the original game with just way too few HP. But uh, I'm going to use one for a little bit here until I replace him with an octopus. And as you can see from this fight, even with weak on, I'm getting hit for one damage. So they're just incredible early on. Well, it hit me for eight, but still not much. 
And the magician looks like she's hitting strong, so I should be good for this fight. Uh, strong is a really bad strategy to use against a golem, certainly, if you're trying to hit him with magic. So I haven't showed you this unit yet. It's got a giant up front to tank, which is not a character class that I've used a lot historically, either in vanilla or any of the custom mods I've played. Um, but I really want to try to use one a little bit more and see if I can get more out of them, because I, I just didn't think they were that great in my first playthrough. But it's definitely one of the best uh, classes early game, I just think they tail off a bit with the low ends and the low agility, but right now it's pretty tanky. I mean, it's almost as tanky as my, my Golem, definitely uh, better than the Hellhound, but it just, you know, it doesn't have the the same agility as the Hellhound. In All right, so I've got the newly deployed Hawkman out in action for the first time, see if his 62 agility is worth anything or not. we got four enemy physical fighters, I think I'll go strong in case they all hit him. But hopefully, he'll be able to dodge some attacks here since he's got, well, not that one. Or that one. Hmm. Well, at least I gave him a defensive item so he's not getting hurt for too much. Well, they're not dodging, or the leader's not dodging either, so. I don't know, at this stage of the game, we just, there's not much of a separation yet. As he levels up higher, he'll get a higher and higher separation of agility. Because even with 62. I mean, probably the enemy has about 50 agility, so they'll probably still have like a 70% chance to hit him. But let's let's try again and see if you uh, get any better results. I mean, it's hard to get worse because I think they hit him every single time. But let's, let's give it a shot. And I'll, just for grins, I'll uh, go on weak. Let's see if we can uh, do it. Well, they miss the leader that has no agility. And there's a miss, but we'll see if that's sustained or not. So certainly my Amazon seemed to be hitting pretty well. He's not missing either. Let's see if we can get the enemy to, yeah, there's another miss and a miss on the leader. So it's still, it's hard to compare. I mean, they hit both of them all the time in the first fight. They miss both of them all the time in the second fight. It's just that the, the numbers aren't different enough yet to to make it easy to tell. I'm just gonna have to wait until they get high. Alright, we got everybody set up for the boss fight. Predictably the low sky unit gets there first. Got a little wild man versus wild man. You wanna go strong, be a little conservative, see what tactics things are on. Okay, maybe on leader. I guess it could be best. Uh, I think it must be leader if he did that. And I'm missing pretty much everything. That's not horrible. I wouldn't expect my Amazons actually to hit that hard. Okay, so I think I got the last two hits here. I'm just gonna run off and try not to die. I mean, he just leveled, but he might lose like 20 XP or something. No reason to, oh, well, missed my chance, but got lucky. So I think, uh, well, I don't know. Probably the Hawkman will go next. Or the Amazon, then the Hawkman? Ah, well, you know, sometimes missing your retreating chance is not horrible. Alright, let's see who gets there next. Aha, lands! The old grudge. I guess it's fitting. Let's see if we can finish him off. Which we should be able to do, I think. Oh, wow. Yep. Left one of the uh, hammers on him, and huh, interesting. I guess they must really be on best then. So, hmm. Okay, well now I should be good to tank a bunch of physical hits. So if you can just get one more hit, ah, that's a pretty big hit. Let's get one more hit. There we go. All right, a little bit of luck there, but uh, no casualties. Stage one. And I wonder how much gold I'll get. That's one thing I never really paid attention to the other time, is I could, you know, always just get extra gold by staying around later. So, that, it'll be an interesting trade-off, because you can definitely finish the stage faster, get more bonus gold, but if you stay around longer, you can kill more units, send them back by killing the leader, or 
kill all the followers and let them go revive their followers. But, I don't know, 13k is pretty good. That